Morning, everybody! It's another monster train. It might not be morning where you're at, but it is where I am. Today we got another tiny cup filled with another little bit of coffee in it. Uh, made by the fine folks at instantcoffee.net. Like one of these days is going to get up early enough and uh, happily enough to be able to just make a real coffee. That'd be nice. Is it necessary? No. Does it make me feel like the world is a little bit more normal for some weird reason? Yes. Is this true? No. Please stay indoors. Wear a mask. And if you're in Canada right now, specifically Ontario, um, be safe, please. This is the second wave currently going on. Uh, daily challenge. Let's talk about that for a minute. So the daily challenges have always been interesting to me. And I keep telling people to give them a try. And lo and behold, I go to yesterday's challenge to check out friends and boom, nobody there. Look, I know that several people I know own this game, okay? I I think this is a travesty, but that's just me. Oh, very dusty screen. I'm glad I got rid of it. So, for today's challenge, uh, we are Hellhorned and Melting. In both cases, the exiled versions, so the alternate versions, the new versions. We've got Super Deadly, uh, Pyres, so our Pyre gets multi-strike, we have Small Hands, we have minus two cards per turn, and Return on Investment, spawn an additional collector in battles that already have a collector, so multiple collectors. In short, this could be an extremely gold-heavy run. And we have to make the best of every card we draw. Every single time we can get card advantage, we should be aiming to get it. Uh, right. So, uh, let's see what kind of champion we got first. We can pick our favorite. Add a Queen's Infling to your hand. It costs one less. Kill all imps. Look, as powerful as this is, the Imp Parade is offensively better, since it effectively gives us a free Imp every turn. Not bad. And it gives us five gold whenever they die. Let's go! We're going to be making a lot of money. Now about seven units, enter with Spikes 3. Spooky. But we're making an Imp every turn, and it's a daily. We should be going ham on these as early as we possibly can. You probably want to be up here, huh? Might as well apply the Rage Serum to you when the, when the time comes. Molded won't do anything for us right now. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a Train Steward up here. I'm going to put a Queen Impling down here. And a Fledgling in. To increase our damage. And Molded does nothing. And now you're back there, huh? And we got ourselves a fledgling imp for that. Still not enough to get through all that, huh? Stinks. Alright, in that case then, if you could just go up here and burn this guy to death, that'd be excellent. I wish we could have gotten to that second collector. No dice, though. That's going to cost us a little bit of dough. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, down here. Here's how we're going to set this up. We're going to have a queen zimpling. The Queen's Impling. I'm going to put the Fledgling in front of the... Never mind, we're out of mana. <laughs> Sucks to be me, I guess. Really? At least we got some money out of it. Uh, okay, Queen's Impling. Queen's Impling. No, 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 hold on. Need to buy as much time as possible. That's how that one works. Uh, and we have got the gun. Took two floors to do it, but uh, Shartail Imp here, like our Shartail Queen is actually really, really quite strong. Baseline. 20 power is not to be sneezed at. So what do we got? Uh, Welder Helper. Powerful. Fortify. Arguably more powerful. Particularly if I can give it Holdover, which is going to be an extremely strong upgrade. Uh, drafts are great. Drip Fall allows us to control the battlefield a bit better, and that matters. When you've got very few cards, having access to a little bit of control can really help. Uh, and in that light, I am going to go right side. A tank is not a bad plan. A tank that actually hits hard is also not a bad plan. This is a weird one. We could probably set up a floor with the draft. 
if we set it up all in one go. But we did not take the draft. Alright, in that case then, Lady of the House is a perfectly reasonable character to have up there. Or anywhere, really. Uh, 10 magic power. Literally not useful right now. Removes consume and stuff. Eh. Making stuff cost less. Yeah. Yeah. If we can get that and hold over, we're sold. Um, I'm going to spell to remove consume. Rage Serum isn't awful, but it's not exactly what we're looking for. Permafrost is also not what we're looking for necessarily. But hey, you know what? It could be useful. We'll hold on to Dripfall. I think that Dripfall in the right situation can actually be super, super good. And that having access to Permafrost means that we'll have it when we need it. Star Battle enemy units appear on each floor. I... Mm, this might be stupid risky for no reason at all. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Especially because these boys really do hit quite hard. Cool. Well, Lady of the House is taking the majority of the damage. And y'all are up on the all up in my grill on this floor, huh? It's a, it's a bit much, don't you think? Okay, a couple easy kills there. The good news is that although we took damage, it didn't really matter, apparently. Okay, you're dead. Mold? Hey, you got Burnout 1. Why not? It'll be an easy kill that way. Damn. Got enough mana for this this time. Okay, a floor of angry imps. Could be worse. Uh, let's try to see if we can't bolster that a little bit then up here. You're all gonna die anyway, I just realized. Oopsie daisy. Probably should have just spammed you up here instead. Good news is we got some money for it. Um, you need to calm down. Molded. Grab me the lady of the house, please. Even if she only takes one attack, really, she'll be useful. And do some real damage. Perfect. That's why. That's exactly what I needed. Stupid sweeping son of a gun. Well, at least he's done. Okay? No more sweeping bosses. That's all I gotta ask. Send the unit. Yeah. Horn break? Yes. Having a little bit of precision damage here would be really, really good. Uh, we already picked up Dripfall. Now we have it when we need it. A draft would not go amiss. So... If you go to the right, we have a chance at a Hellhorn unit. What kind of Hellhorn unit would we want? I got no idea. Left-wise, we got a artifact and some higher health. The artifact is very tempting. I think it's almost more tempting than going over on this side for right now. What's on our next? Uh, whoa! <laughs> What's on the next ring? Card removal, doubling, and pyre health. Look, I, I I don't necessarily need pyre health twice in a row. Hmm. You know, this is effectively like picking up 200 go odd gold. Friendly units enter with armor 5. Or they enter with rage 3. Considering imps, that's not bad. Could be worse. We keep respawning them as well, which means that they keep coming in with a lot of rage. Hmm. Making everybody that little bit more durable isn't going to help against bigger floors. But it will stop Harvest from being an issue. So I'll, we'll go for it, I think, in this case. Uh, what do we got here? Plus one on each floor. Minus one on each floor, but plus 15 magic power. We have no need for magic power, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to avoid that. The hammer, I think, is literally just good. It's it's gonna, it's gonna effectively like we just beat a mini-boss. Here's one on every single floor that you can use. Perfect. I'll take that. Free, you know, free boss win. Why not? It's a big win as far as I'm concerned. Here, I'm going to go ahead and emote here. Brr. Brr. <laughs> I wonder if that even does anything. Okay, you. On Slay, you gain 25. Armor, calm down. Why do you have rage too? Because that's just what you do. Of course it is. So whatever you do, do not. 
get set up. Such that this lady... Like, you know what? Dripfall is huge here. Because it allows us to really control where she's going. Ah! She's back. Okay, she's timing out before anything bad happens to us. Remember, you actually don't mind your folks dying here. Go away, thank you. Now, I keep forgetting if she attacks first or not. I don't think she is, because otherwise she'd be getting a whole lot of rage. Someone else is. You guys are still a little angry, but should be dealable with. You guys appear. You know what? Have a lady of the house. You know, let's have a lady of the house pop up here. And then... Have that happen. Cool, and she's still not getting the kill, which is important. Like, we don't mind our folks dying here, because the 10 gold we get out of it is actually quite nice. Okay, you're getting the kill here. No, you're not. You're getting the kill, and then you're attacking here, doing nothing? That's great. That's the way things ought to be. Now, over here. Um... Cool, might as well. You're at least doing some damage, my friend. Hold on. Some? You're attacking. You're killing the imp. And then you attack and you only do 15? Because you're healing. I'd rather knock you down 20. Just so that way when he comes back up, we can hopefully just toss an imp in the way and he dies. Final wave. Cool. Well... Now you just got Relentless instead. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a couple of probably imps, if I had to guess. Yup. Oh, I'm out of mana. I was going to rage them. That was a mistake. The good news is we made a lot of money. Uh, okay, molded. Okay, you're taking a decent amount of damage, just not enough for me to be happy, sadly. You're down 160. There's not much we can do about it. Molded. You're the lady. You have Burnout 5, which makes you instantly better than almost everybody else out there. Yep, cool, we won. Lady of the House, look, as long as she keeps getting resurrected, to actually just start getting large. I can start seeing her become a real powerhouse. Uh, Devourer of Death can be handy. Transcend Imp, though. This is the time for Transcend Imp to be a thing. The Ranger, Ranger friendly units has an additional plus three per stack. Really potent. Um, but a deck's starting to get thick for a deck that really can't draw cards. <laughs> um, and we don't get that much rage out there. So, you know what? We skip. And card draw. 100%. We have no other option. We either get card draw or we don't. Uh, or, or we just don't win really. Uh, let's go over to the left. It doesn't seem like it's a very good idea, but removing a couple of cards here will be particularly helpful. Um, yeah, really, it's just two train stewards. Making it easier to land the, uh, the dupes where we want them to be. Actually, hold on. Before you do that... Nope, we definitely have to do this now. Is there anything upgraded that we'd like to have pop up more often, or do we just want more transcendents? Think about it. Think about it. Resolve, add a fledgling imp to your hand. That's rage imp. That's actually really good. Now I feel bad for turning down the deranged guy. Kill all imp units, deal 20 damage per imp to enemy units. It's better range imp. Rage imp for that. If we go for the imperialist, it'll give us a more evenly balanced character, as well as being able to effectively just... We summon an imp or two. And then we just throw them. I think that this is legitimately quite a lot of damage. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give that a shot, because it's a it's an aspect of the deck that we just don't have access to right now, is AoE damage. So, um, it should also bypass Spell Shield, which will make this a little bit easier. Now, do these guys have haste? They have haste. You 
Lady of the house. Is it worth my spit? Uh... Question. Why are you not being acted upon? Triggers at the start of this unit's turn. Oh, you need to be back a little bit. Oops! The more you know... That's a bit of a shame. That does get the kill where it matters, though. Okay, that's getting the kill where we need it, in the way that we need it, which is kind of what we were aiming for. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, now I understand how actions work. It's when it's the Shard Tail's, uh, Shard Tail Queen's turn that that happens, huh? You're now an option. Perfect. Okay, fledgling up. You toss out both of them. You're gonna get acted upon and kill everything. Perfect. What could we possibly primitive mold at this point? That'd be happy with primitive mold? Yeah, sure, why not? You're kidding. <laughs> okay, mold the lady of the house again, please. She'll be alive for two waves after this. Then, uh, Queen's and Blink, because you can. And then transcend it, because, uh, that's fun. Oh, it's a lot of damage. Um, might as well. Look, this is a very entertaining run right now, and is actually quite strong. Especially if we can just remold the transcend him repeatedly. Um, actually, hold on. In that light. Does this work? Does this work the way that I hope it does? Okay, it just copies the other times we've cast that spell. That's fine. Okay, in light of what we're currently sitting on, grab me another Transcendent, please. Well, everything dies. Probably could have done that the other way around. It would have been smarter, huh? Just in case. And there's really no... I mean... <laughs> it's cute. It really doesn't do anything. I really like the Transcendents, though. This Transcendent silliness is kind of great. Uh, there's, there's a lot to like about this, as well as the action. This is turning out awesome. Uh, attune, sacrifice an empty, deal 50 damage to the front enemy unit. It's not the card I'm looking for. It's an alright card, but... Uh, ascending unit, apply days two. It's useful for effectively killing somebody to get to the top floor. And Inferno, with some upgrades, is actually a very powerful floor clear. I'm skipping all of it. Because I'm super smart. Deal 25 damage and apply days 3 to an already damaged unit. This does work on bosses. With a little bit of help, this mortal entrapment can allow you to actually drastically turn the tide over a boss. Um, I don't think we need it, though. We're just going to sit on 900 gold. We have so much money. <laughs> this is actually a little bit nutters. Uh, we're going to go... Do, do we make another transcend imp? Because that would be cute. No, 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 no. Hazel's work. Uh, units gain extinguish by 5 to the front friendly unit, or gain 5 when this tomb unit dies. Mold braces. Hmm. Yeah, the mold braces are a good plan here. Uh, woken random me melting remnant consumable. Okay, so what are the consumable cards here? We've got access to spikes. Oh! I'm not sure. Skip. We have nothing in our deck that needs regen. Skip. We didn't need the we didn't need the wax. We did not need the wax. Shame to say, but we did not need the wax. Sad face. Now at this point, upgrade spells to be less mana to spend on. Um you're already not eligible, huh? <laughs> Can't remove consume from anything. Yeah, let's do that to the other molded. 
And then I think we re-roll and hope for holdover. We do not get it. Rage Serum applying Rage 6 is kind of cute. Um, but it makes it real expensive. <laughs> Two mana to cast that thing? It's just like, oh, you get Rage 6. Like, it doesn't even matter that much. Like, I don't even necessarily want it. Um, I just realized we could have applied Magic Power to Hornbreak, and that would have been a big deal. I think that in the case of what we're looking for right now, uh, making Dripfall cost nothing to just use whenever we want is not bad. And we can purge a couple of cards, and that's the best use of our of our time, really. Sadly. Um, you know what? Sure. Fortify for 10 armor is not terrible. Okay. Cool. We've done what we can here on this floor. Time to get real mad. No holdover. Still. Makes me sad. And Harvesters of Death. Oh, no. -y. No. This is exactly what we were worried about. So, uh, and then on top of that, we got the Crystal Cloak. Look, this is just an awful boss fight for us. Um, hmm. Particularly because we rely so much on death to kill these guys. We'll set up on this floor. You know what? I'll kill my own imp. Just to get the money. And to feed some armor to the front guy here. Um, here. Knock him dead, boy. And then what? Cool. Now you're almost dead already. That's, that's actually encouraging, to be honest. What could we possibly reform at this point? A Queen's Impling. Cute. It'll literally just die and do nothing. I'll set it up here just to get the kill and then move on. It's worth five gold just to have it die, so... That's something. Uh, bounce up here. Kill that. Okay, down. Down here. Everything's died. That's good. Transcend him. And at this point, the transcend imp actually does do some damage, I think, because I've summoned a lot of little queen's imps. It'll actually, like, possibly do some damage here. <laughs> yeah, it actually got a kill. Um, that's cute. And then it'll die. But you know what? It'll be worth it. That that's actually really cute. Okay, now up here. Fledgling Imp. Fledgling Imp. Primitive Mold. Got back a Transcendent. Primitive Mold. Got back a Queen's Impling. Should have done that the other way. It's fine. Just a whole lot of rage. Honestly, that floor is screwed. Uh, the Queen's Impling down here. Might as well die just to get a little bit of damage out there and also need some gold. Okay, brief respite. Remold this lady, please. Then primitive mold, and we get the transcendent. Nah, <laughs> I was gonna say that would've been pretty dope. Okay, kill. Ooh, not yet. Hold on. Transcendent here. Hold on. Lay to the house, then transcendent because transcendent is gonna give us a lot of rage as well. Oh, and a lot of damage. Oh, and so so much damage. <laughs> You got Burnout too. Look, you might as well just hop up here so that when you die, it's not anywhere important. Okay, this floor is going to suck. Unless I can reform a couple of things and cause them to waste a little bit of their time. Neither of those are going to be that. Sadly. Um... Here. You lose one turn that way. Decent amount of damage just from Queen's Implings alone. Uh, but that's that. Unfortunately, I think that we lose this floor without much 
to show for it, unless if we can really get something out there that's quite potent. Double Transcendent will help. But I'm not sure it'll be enough. It's not quite enough, but we're starting to get places. Okay. One lucky primitive mold can make the difference. It did not. Okay, well, we're taking like 12 damage on our pyre. It could be worse. This was literally the worst possible archetype of bad guy we could have come up across. I don't mind doing badly. Uh, Imp in a box is two random impudence in my hand. Hey, you know what? That's more to resurrect later. Uh, pfft, skip. The Votoveri is not bad, actually. I probably could have picked that up and been quite happy because it would die, give me money, and then come back and uh, draw cards to my thing. It would have been sweet. Um, uh, again, I just want to look to see if I can't get hold over Purge a card, gain a card. Uh, what do I want to purge? Honestly, get rid of Rage Serum, and I'd be quite pleased. At this point, it's done nothing. Like, at least everything else in our deck has a reason to exist. Rare Hellhorn or Rare Melting? Um, let's take a look at a Rare Melting. Remove all Burnout and Debuff effects from a unit. It's not bad, and it can be helpful. Sure, it's gonna be more helpful than the than the chaos like than, than than like rage serum was. Rage serum was just like oh, one of my attacks for three turns does a little bit more damage. Big whoop, nicely done, Basil. Yeah, okay, imp in a box. You do, you man. Still, no holdover. I'm a little little upset. It's fine. Uh, I like to remove the cost off of imp in a box to make it free. No, um, honestly. If I can remove the cost from Fortify, that's an idea. Wait, hold on. Can we double stack or double stack? No, we cannot. Okay, I was going to say, that would have been pretty sick. Um, I think that we remove the cost from Impeta Box in this case, just to make it so that way we can add two interesting imps to my hand. The Scholar could be interesting every once in a while, but yeah. Uh, as far as removing cards goes, I like my two fledgling imps where they are right now. Um, we could probably cut down... Like, the draft is not doing all that much, sadly. But it is one of our pure damage units at the moment. We can cut down a primitive mold and be relatively happy. Uh, like, keeping the deck trim is important here. So I'm okay with making that particular cut. Arcus is going to be a tough fight. Uh, the good news is that with this fight, the boss fight himself, uh, as damaging as he is, doesn't have any stealth. And so as a result, we are capable of doing way more damage than it might seem. In light of this, welcome to Death Town. Population, all of you. Okay, you haven't cast anything down here yet. Good. I'll risk it. Now y'all are dead. And since it doesn't matter, because I'd rather have it just instantly die anyway, that's up there. And while I can, get some armor, lady. So I've cut off her wick. She is now fine. If I cast anybody down here, they get dazed. That's just awful. Um, you can't even use your action, huh? Okay, good to know. Uh, we need to start summoning on the next floor then. Specifically, these two. So that way I can get these transcendents to do something useful on a later turn. That's, that's just rough, though. I did not realize that the days would stop actions that way. Uh, okay, Imp in a Box. Not a bad way to do things. Drip follow you down to the next level. This literally just feeds her armor, and then he instantly dies anyway. Which is exactly what we want. Primitive Mold. Guns is another Queen's Impling. Yes, right. Alright, and as often as my people die, that's, you know, more money, so I'm quite pleased about it. This daily is such a money, like, rich daily. It, it's rich for high scores, if we can get it to work. What can we reform here? Another Queen's Impling, how cute. 
Um, toss it one of those, toss it one of these. Suddenly this little guy here has 22 damage. What the heck? If I put anybody up here, it's going to stun. You see this like it's a man. Right. I forgot. That's a problem because reasons. Uh, to hell with you, Argus. That was well worth it. That Transcend Imp has just made things lovely. Uh, the downside now is that that Transcend Imp is all the way the heck up there. I'm going to go ahead and grab some more armor for our Imp situation down here. With this recruitment. We don't really have any downsides right now, so... What do you do again? I'm not applying plus one spells in, you know, in my hand here. That is a dumb decision. Yeah, I'll just make an imp for up there. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it matters a little bit now that I think about it. I'm an idiot. It's fine. Um, fortify. Before you transcend imp, imp in a box. Ooh, interesting question. Yeah, we go for the armor boost here. And then transcend him. Oh! <laughs> that is so good. Uh, we don't need to mold it anything. Um, I'd rather leave the rest of these floors to do their thing for a little bit. Hopefully we can just kill them on this floor. That is not what's happening, sadly. Um, in light of this, molded. Grab me a transcendent, please. Toss out another one of these. Transcendent. And then drip fall. And that's a decent amount of damage. Like, that was not an awful amount of damage. However, you are still alive. Um, I think, honestly, Transcendent's the right play here. Just because. <laughs> Primitive Mold. Okay, cool. Here's what happens. We play this for free. We play Fledgling Imp for free. And then we play Transcendent for whatever he's worth. And it's Death by Imps, man. I don't know what to tell you, but the Imp Floor has managed to win the day. <laughs> Transcend Imp is gross. Uh, I have a brand new, super profound respect for that card right now. Uh, Implate is cute, considering the number of Imps we have in the deck. Uh, and it only gets stronger over the course of a level. Sure. Sure. Give me another card to draw every turn. And now we're back up to a normal amount of cards in our hand every turn. Yay. <laughs> uh, we go left. Uh, we go left because there is a Hazel Horde. Summon ability trigger an additional time. Boo hoo hoo yeah. Merchant of Steel. Multi-strike. But on who? Uh, the Lady of the House doesn't make an awful case for it, honestly. Um, just to help her get kills, really. And it, it syncs up well with the Rage. Um, and we don't want her to really have any problems with dying, so we're going to give her some HP. Um, as far as extra damage goes, the draft can use it. Reroll, maybe we find something neat. Don't get me wrong, large stone is cute. However, large stone is also bad for us in a large number of situations. Uh, it is a lot of damage on that draft, to be fair. But, Fury Stone, that is 14 increase of damage. It's like a large stone without taking up all the space that we're not using. That's fine. Uh, as far as card removal goes, we don't really need to remove much. I mean, Wickless Recruitment, sort of? But even then, Lady of the House is, is fine. If, if she burns out, we can just respawn her, and it's usually okay. Um, I don't think we need to. Over here, uh, this time we can add a Fledgling Imp or deal 30 damage per Imp. You know what? I think at this point, the Fledgling Imp just does a gross amount. Um, mind you, it is kind of funny to put out a Transcend Imp and then have them become a damage spell. <laughs> now that I think about it. Yeah, we're going for Imperialist 2 here. We want to kill our Imps and do more damage. And we like having the Queen's Imps. It just does do a lot of damage. Mind you, plus a Bajillion Rage is great. But, you know, it, uh, that was probably actually the right choice. I'm going to go ahead and make a make a sad. I made, I made a dumb. Um... 
Like, really, I don't I don't feel like removing much of anything in here. Even Weakless Recruitment has a, a case to be made for it right now. The deck works. Uh, okay, enemies enter with armor 20. I want coins for points. So, here goes. We've been hovering at a thousand coins this entire round, huh? Is this haste or multi-strike? It's multi-strike. The question is, can we go aggro? The answer is... We're going to give it a shot. Horn break that one to get the kill and then knock you down in terms of the amount of damage you're about to deal to me. Okay, so you still live. For now, that is. Queen's Impling. Uh, might as well transcend them so that way I can continuously throw you. <laughs> Remove all your debuffs. We have nothing to remold or anything, so we're just going to leave the turn go. Okay, you exist. Here. What kind of imps do we get in our hand here? The Pirate Chomper's cute. Yeah, I think that that works well for us. Um... It's the aggro imp floor. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough to wipe out everybody. There's still a boy up here to kill, huh? Oh, right. We do 180 damage to that spell now. Well worth it. <laughs> uh, that guy's already dead. So we really just have to focus on this floor. Uh, molded. What's a what's an imp I'd like to get out more often? The welder helper, for sure. Put that out there. Put out the transcend imp. And then just laugh as our dude has 143 armor right out of the gate. Which is disgusting. Um, aggro imp floor can, you know, just stay here for right now. We'll put you in the graveyard so that way you're out of our deck, but, you know, also importantly, uh, summonable pretty much at any time. Okay, uh, pff, might as well pyre chomper here for, for mana. Uh, you're not consumed anymore, so we might as well just keep going with this. Launch both of you out the window. Put a pyre chomper and two queens implants. Primitive Mold grabs a draft. Sure. Okay, now here's the hard part. How do we kill you? Uh, if we do this... Now, Mold it. I think we grab a Transcendent. And we grab the other Transcendent. And then we just spam these two... You know, these two fine little imps up here for a second. And then we put out Transcendent 1. And then transcend him too. <laughs> and then we laugh. <laughs> 32 energy! What the hell? <laughs> oh, good lord. So, if you're not following on what's going on in all this madness, the transcend imp is casting every summon we put out again. Uh, which is a fancy way of saying equals to 10 times the number of friendly deaths this battle. Oh. <laughs> it's actually quite the spell, considering how many times we kill people via uh, this. Kill all imp units. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Memento Mori actually does do damage now. Um, is it necessary? No. Is it fun? Yeah. <laughs> um, hell, we don't even want to go right anymore. We, we want to go left just to just to, for the memes at this point. Well, what do we not need anymore? Like, uh, Primitive Mold, I guess? Primitive Mold is not only expensive compared to our other resurrection options, but it's also just not helpful. And then... Uh... Give me another Transcendent? <laughs> okay. Keep in mind, we can't just cast Transcendent. We do have to cast other spells too, or otherwise we're in, uh, we're in trouble. You need to be cheaper to be useful. You're fine at one mana, honestly. Remove Consume. Cute. Gorgeous. You know, we need horn break exactly once. <laughs> hold over! They've actually done it! They gave me hold over. What a nice, nice day to be alive. Uh, reduce that to one, please. Thank you. And then Magic Baron consume. We t no, Impolite can, can stay. Impolite can stay. Are there any cool relics? 
Grace is not decay on friendly units. I, I'm taking that just for the means at this point. We're going to hold on to $1,155 because we don't need anything else. <laughs> so the first spell we cast each turn has consume. Big sad. Uh, it's, not, well, it's not something we're happy about, but we can make you. You will die giving armor to this front one, and everybody else here gets hurt. We're not casting that molded. There's no need. Here, blow that boy up. Now it's up here. Imp in a box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Consume. It's fine. It's fine. Then uh, now input a box can be cast. Probably should have done it the other way around just to get a lot more energy out of it. This is fine. Okay. Uh, cast one of these little babies. Fortify this baby. Put our queen's imp. And then, uh, the Inflame? That's a that's getting there in terms of damage, uh, if I'm being completely honest. Okay, and this is the time for Memento Mori. Never mind, it just does it to the front unit, and it was extinguished for no reason at all. Okay, toss that out there. Toss that out there. Toss this out there. And then Transcend Imp! <laughs> Outstanding. Uh, okay. Yeah, you might as well consume it, my friend. Now. Queen's Impling Pyre Chomper? Transcend him? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's it, baby. You can get attacked by an imp down here. See if I care. Like, we're going to be out of spells soon, but who needs them? Uh, you know what? Actually, in hindsight, I need them. Uh, oh my god, why do you have to have consume? Okay, you're dead anyway. That's fine. You two are dead up here. Oof, oof, oof. Do I even remotely want to do this? No. But we need to. Lady of the House needs to come out eventually. So we're going to go ahead and put her down in here. It's another consume spell. Sounds bad, but it is what it is. Okay, you can just... Thank you. Imp in a box! Might as well do this here quickly. And then uh, transcend him. Thanks. You might as well get dazed for a turn for no reason at all. Now, this is the Relentless Wave. You're only taking 396. It's not a lot. Um, you're going to die before that becomes an issue. Now you're taking 1400. And uh, all of this is in my deck, and I hate it. Cool. Now we need help. Could this stop? Are we literally just drawing those three cards over and over again? Because that's all that's left in our deck. I would not actually not be. I would not be surprised if that were the case. I'd be very annoyed if that was the case. If we die to that, oh my god! It's literally the last card in our deck. That is so outstandingly bad. Every other card got consumed. That is so rough. I mean, we still won, but at an incredible cost of points. Oh, oh, man. Literally, that was all that was left in our deck was three Vengeful Shards. That is so sad. We had no... Re I had not realized how important those spells were going to be. Just when I was keeping my deck nice and trim, that would have been a killer deck in any of those situation. In this situation, A, it was okay. We still got a bonus 1,200 points, which is not bad. But... 
that performance on the last floor could have easily pushed us over 40,000, and instead we bungled it for 50% damage taken. Most of the other times, we took a little bit of damage, but beat the boss rush within like a couple of turns. It's fine. <laughs> I probably had too few spells, it turns out, in hindsight, and I should have known in advance which Seraph it was, and should have gathered more spells uh, in advance of that to make sure that we could actually do stuff. Instead, I kept cutting them. Now imagine if I hadn't cut them. I would have been able to resurrect a couple more times. I would have been able to keep things going a bit more often. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a good thing that the deck was as strong as it was, because otherwise we would have been in serious trouble. I, I, this was a lot of fun. We managed to make it 183rd place. You guys can do better. Uh, I'm sure that you folks can definitely do better. So give it a shot. If you do this... Try not to cut all your primitive molds. <laughs> I'm guessing that those are kind of important. Uh, and yeah, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. I'll see you guys um, tomorrow morning. Should be a good time. Bye for now.